Hi everyone, my name is Carson Binda and I'm BC Director for the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, holding down the fort for our tax fighting army here in rainy, rainy Vancouver. We all know, across the country, that Vancouver City Hall has a reputation for crazy ideas and even crazier spending. But with a new plan to tax parrots, you heard me right, parrots, they've reached new heights of bird-brained bureaucracy. The new parrot tax was recommended in a report by city staff alongside a whole slew of new fee hikes. So on top of creating this brand new $300 tax for exotic birds like parrots and cockatoos, City Hall is also going after businesses. They're going after contractors and they're going after tradespeople. Trade contractor licenses are going to be doubled. Doubled. Licensing fees for businesses are going to be increased by almost 50% and a general contractor license will be increased by more than $130. The city, they say that they need to raise these licensing fees so that they become revenue generating mechanisms. But there's a whole problem with that. Licensing fees, those are supposed to cover the cost of issuing the licenses. When they're turned into revenue generating mechanisms, they become taxes. When the city's in the middle of a house cleaning crisis, increasing taxes on the tradespeople that build houses is exactly the wrong direction to go. Thinking that you can fix city finances by raising taxes on parrots and plumbers, that's just stupid at best. And this new tax plan comes hot on the heels of a 10.7% property tax hike that was approved by council for this year, for 2023. That tax hike means that average homeowners are going to be on the hook for an extra $326, $326 in property taxes this year, while businesses, they're going to be hit with an extra $550 this year. And it's not just homeowners who are going to be on the hook for this. Renters like me, we're going to see those costs passed down to us. So it's going to make owning a house more expensive, it's going to make renting a house more expensive, and it's made doing business in our city more expensive. Another report by city bureaucrats calls for 9% property taxes every year from now until 2028. Taxing the land where you build homes or the contractors who build them will make housing in the city even more expensive than it is right now. And both reports, the one including the parrot tax and the one calling for 9% year-over-year property tax hikes, were approved by council before the mayor's budget task force presented one single opportunity for savings. And it's not that Vancouver has a revenue problem, it's not like they need to squeeze even more money out of us. City council and their legions of bureaucrats, they have a serious spending problem. Mayor Ken Sim, he promised that, quote, I'm quoting him here, large tax increases could not become the norm. Well, that promise has him looking like Pinocchio with the nose five times its usual size that just keeps on growing. Spending by the city has ballooned in the past several years. In the last year alone, city spending has increased by 13 percent from 1.75 billion in 2022 to just a hair under 2 billion in 2023. Inflation, that was sitting at 4% over the same period, so inflation sure isn't to blame for that massive, massive increase in city spending. For taxpayers who are struggling to afford food for their families, or even putting a roof over their head, that kind of massive spending by city bureaucrats and politicians is just unsustainable. So the next question is, where should the city start making cuts? Well, they could start with the exorbitant six-figure salaries and constant raises for senior bureaucrats. Last year, 16 separate bureaucrats at City Hall made over $200,000. They could also start by taking another look at the FIFA 2026 World Cup, which we somehow got bamboozled into hosting, where taxpayers are going to be on the hook for about half a million dollars per minute of playtime. Or they could find somewhere local to dispose of the city's trash, instead of having the metro region spend $115 million shipping it to the US and deep into BC's interior. Mayor Ken Sim and his ABC Council need to start cutting spending. 
not looking for ever more ways to squeeze every last dime out of struggling Vancouverites. <laughs>